Get our virtual pilots. Today we're going to look at bombing and rocket usage in the Typhoon. So we're starting off 3,000 foot above the ground. The SB is going to be between 240 and 250 miles an hour. And we're going to bomb that bridge, starting off by lining it up with the cannons on the wing. And then we're going to make a vertical adjustment on the site. So we'll take it to three and a half degrees down. It's not fully necessary, but it's just a reference point if you didn't want to use the tip of the nose. So with the bridge coming up, we've got it lined up on that cannon like we talked about. And once it touches the leading edge of the wing, we're going to make the right turn towards it. And normally you would attack it lengthways along the bridge, but I'm just trying to show accuracy by attacking it from the perpendicular position. So as you roll towards the bridge, we're going to put it on the site or just on the tip of the nose if you like. This will give us a 20 degree dive and we don't need to touch the power, we're just trying to get some good airspeed here. We'll release the bombs at about a thousand foot AGL and then begin the recovery. And we can see we had a nice hit. And you'll see that I'm only dropping one bomb in this instance, so you can drop both if you like. And if you do happen to only drop one bomb, there is going to be a bit of a weight discrepancy, so the plane's going to want to tilt towards whichever wing has the bomb on it due to the extra weight. So as you can see, this technique's pretty straightforward to what you've seen before. So now we'll have a look at the rockets. So when you're using the rockets, same technique, we get at 3,000 foot above the ground, the airspeed between 240 and 250 miles an hour, but we'll use one degree on the dial this time. And uh, you line up on the cannon, as the wing touches it, we roll in. This will give us about a 20 degree dive. So we'll get the wings level, get the reticule on the target and account for the wind and target direction. We'll fire about a thousand foot above the ground and we'll cover. Should finish the dive above 340 miles an hour. And this way you can use that speed to climb up and circle around and get ready to make another pass. Now, I'm only ever going to use high explosive rockets in the Typhoon because the armor piercing rockets aren't that useful. So, whenever you do do ground attack, always go with the HE. So, I'm just speeding up time as we move through the recovery. We're set up for another pass. So, again, we're trying to get ourselves in a position that will allow us to line up our target in line with the cannon on the wing. Back up to 3,000 foot AGL. The target is lined up good enough. Touch the leading edge, we begin our roll in. Pull towards it. Get the reticule in position to account for the target direction. Fire at 1,000 feet and recover. And then we can see it's dead, and uh, from external view, you can have a look and see just how the rockets hit the target. So there's only one martyr left. So again, speeding up the time till we get back in position at 3,000 foot AGL. Now this approach is gonna be a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna initiate the roll towards the target before it touches the wing in this case. May result in a slightly steeper dive. Get a reticule on the target and account for the direction and wind. Fire at 1,000 feet and then begin the recovery. And that's another hit. So we're going to have a look at next is um, attacking trains to have some defense to shoot back against you. It's going to be a slightly different technique with this one. Now against the train, you want to attack it along the length of the train. So you're going to attack it from 90 degrees initially. And you're going to predict the motion as well. So it touches the leading edge at approximately the cannon position. So you can begin your turn from 3000 foot. Now as we make our attack, we want to maintain a slightly curved flight path all the way in. This way the AAA won't get a beat on us. Unless we're in range, we just fire up all the rockets and pull through the target. This way the rockets will hit along the length of where the train is traveling and um, hopefully destroy it. So you can see, we're flying this curved flight path. This doesn't allow the AAA to get a shot on us the entire time. Then we continue to pull through while firing the rockets and we destroy the entire train in one pass. Now in this technique, I had to fire each rocket individually. So the next one we're looking at is attacking a tank using the salvo function on the rockets. This way we're going to fire all of them at once to ensure its destruction. Alright, so here we are yet again, 3000 foot AGL. Lined up the tank in the distance there with one of the cannons. 
we got one degree set on our dial and looking at the salvo option here it's going to be left windows R to select that and then once the tank touches the leading edge we'll begin our roll in now there is a bit of wind this time it's going to push me from the right to the left so I'm actually going to put the reticule slightly off to the right hand side to account for this wind drift here we can see the wind is kind of pushing me towards the target come up on a thousand foot AGL fire the rockets all at once and we can check for the target's damage like I said before you're much better off taking off high explosive compared to the other rockets because these ones have the ability to kill a tiger tank as you see here I had to complete the tutorial on how to use bombs and rockets in the Hawker Typhoon until next time remember to fly safe and check your six